guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jennifer Love and I'm a professionally trained makeup artist as well as beauty content creator. And today I'm coming at you with part two of our mini eyelash series. Today in part two, we're gonna be talking about mega volume on your natural eyelashes. And to do that, my secret weapon is using not only one, but two mascaras. The first mascara that I'm gonna be using is Maybelline Great Lash. I'm gonna be using this mascara to separate and define the lashes. And then I'm gonna be coming in with my secret weapon, which is the second mascara. The mascara that I'm gonna be using is the Voluminous Lash Paradise. This is what's really gonna pack on the mega volume to our lashes. So if you wanna learn how to get mega volume like this, then stay tuned. So I've already gone ahead and curled my eyelashes. If you're interested in learning any tips and tricks on how to do that, then check out part one of my mini eyelash series. I'll have the link to that available in the description below. So after curling my eyelashes, I'm gonna come in with my first out of the two mascaras. My first mascara is the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. I like to use mine in waterproof. So I'm just gonna remove any of the excess mascara from the brush. If you have too much mascara on your mascara wand, it's gonna cause your eyelashes to clump together. Going in for the first coat, I'm gonna use my finger to lift up my eyelash line like this. That's just gonna make it a little bit easier for me to apply the mascara really close to um, the lash line itself. That's gonna stop me from getting something called a floating lash line. Well, on the first coat of your mascara, you always wanna make sure to concentrate on the roots first. This is gonna keep the lashes from getting all clumped up. We're gonna go in and do the other eye as well. While that first coat's still dry, we're gonna come in with our spoolie and we're just gonna gently brush it out to make sure that none of the lashes are sticking together. We don't want any clumps in there. Always remember, you wanna be brushing your eyelashes in between each and every coat of mascara. Now, I'm gonna let that dry down just a little bit before I go in with my second coat of the first mascara. I wanna make sure though that it's only dried a little bit and not dry it all the way. If I just go ahead with the second coat right onto the super wet lashes, it could cause them to stick together. However, if I let it dry down the entire way, then I could end up with clumps. So there's kind of a fine line of making sure that it's just dry enough, but not too dry. So now I'm gonna go in with my second coat. Um, for my second coat, I'm gonna wanna start at the, uh, the base of the lashes and I'm gonna pull it all the way up to the length of the lashes. So here we are starting at the base of the lashes and then I'm gonna pull it up to the top. While I'm doing this, once again, I'm putting my finger on my eyelid like this and kind of pulling up. Not only is that gonna help me get to the close to the lash line, like I stated before, but it's also gonna stop me from getting any mascara up here. If I happen to go up too high with my mascara wand, instead of my mascara wand touching up here and getting all this mascara, it's just gonna touch my finger and the mascara will get on my finger. So it's kind of a safeguard. I'm gonna go in and do the other side as well. Okay. Now, once again, like I said before, we're gonna brush our lashes in between every single coat. So I'm just... Once again, I'm just gonna let it dry down a little bit. Now I'm gonna come in with the first mascara one last time, and I'm just gonna concentrate on the tops of the eyelashes. I am lightly patting the mascara wand onto the tops. Go ahead and do that to the other side as well. And then you guessed it, I'm gonna brush it out. But this time, instead of brushing from the bottom like this, I'm gonna brush from the top like this. Separate the tips of the lashes. And now I'm gonna come in with my secret weapon, the second mascara, which is a volumizing mascara. I'm gonna get this, and once again, I'm gonna brush off any excess stuff that's on the tip, and I'm gonna start at the base and work my way up 
the lash line, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press the brush into the lashes like so. I don't wanna wiggle back and forth because that's gonna make the eyelashes clump together. What we're really looking for here is to just coat the lashes. We're kinda packing the mascara on. I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the other side. And I'm gonna brush it out. Now generally you would only want to apply three coats of mascara, but when you're using this particular technique, going ahead and applying four is totally okay because we're letting it dry down in between the layers and we're just patting the mascara on. So this is gonna be our fourth and final layer of mascara. I'm going to push it into the roots one more time. And then I'm gonna turn my brush like this and I'm gonna swipe the mascara wand up the lashes like so. And then the final thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push my mascara wand onto the tips of the lashes and the very tops. All right, I'm gonna do the other side. Then I'm going to brush them out with my spoolie for a final time just to make sure they're not all clumpy. And there you have it. Mega volume on your natural lashes with using my secret weapon of not one, but two mascaras. I hope that you guys found that video helpful. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section below. And if you liked my video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Links to those can both be found in the description below. Until next time, guys. Bye.